So I suppose you folks are probably wondering why Wayne Inger is doing so many segments for this season. It's because 2013 was not a good year for me. We were in Lake St. Clair, and we were going to do a musky show with Steve Jones, and I got pneumonia. Bad. So then I go home from that, and I'm supposed to recover, and I sat around for, I can only sit around for a while. I sat two days at the house doing nothing. I was going crazy. I said, let's go up to the ranch. At least I can watch the birds out the window. The next day, I felt much, much better. And I said, Chris, I'm going to go spray thistles. Well, make a long story short, Dumbo here rolled a thousand pound uh, Polaris ATV over on top of himself, and I was in a mess. I was a hurting unit. So Wayne is also the ranch manager for us and has been for years. And he's an outstanding fisherman, an outstanding hunter. I mean, that's what he does. I want to thank Wayne for hosting all those different shows that he hosted that year for me. We got some birds back here. Let's cover up. Now! Hey! Now we're talking! Woo! Now! Hey, that was great. I can do that all day. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. They're working. That was pretty amazing. We've got 10 down already? 10 birds down and two flocks. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. That's amazing. One of the neat things about our area, as I've always said to everybody, it's probably the only area in the state where if you come out, you have a, if there's enough hours in the day, you have a legitimate chance of catching a limit of walleyes, shooting a deer, shooting a limit of pheasants, shooting a limit of ducks, and shooting your geese all in one day. You know, every, it's literally, it's a hunter paradise. Everything is here. Kill them on the right, guys, kill them on the right. <laughs> Fun. That never gets old. We run uh, guided goose and duck hunts all around the refuge, uh, all up around Big Stone Refuge. Uh, we basically guide in about a 40 mile radius around our farm. Uh, we do a ton of scouting, and um, even for people that want to come out, if they want to run a guided hunt, we'll be, you know, we'll take them out and do a great job for them. We'll set all the decoys. We've got professional callers that will put birds in their face. Um, and even if they want to do their own thing, we do private field rounds, so people can bring their own decoys and equipment out. And we'll set them, we'll scout out, we'll set them up the field, and, and they can run their own hunt, and they don't have to have to. <laughs> On the right, guys. Now, take them. No more shooting, no more shooting, no more shooting. No more shooting. Oh, I think that finished them. That awesome. That's our six. That's our six. <laughs> Excellent. We finished the night, boys. <laughs> Good job, guys. That, All right. fin that finished up the limits. That was great. Holy buckets. And right, we were looking. We were saying, right we need now. one more bat before sunset. Yep. Beautiful. Yeah, they worked right in the kill hole. Let's go get Let's them. Let's go get them. Right, let's go do it. Yes, the guys got a lot of birds. They had inc an incredible hunt and incredible shooting. But somebody must have slipped in a few boxes of blanks because there was this one that, I think it was a Drake Mallard, came and it ran the gauntlet in front of them. They must have shot at it a dozen times and never even took one feather out of it. There was two other geese coming in, coming right in. Missed them both. Over, overhead. Right. Holy buckets. <laughs> Lucky duck. <laughs> that doesn't happen too often with that group. So if I get a chance to pick on them a little bit, that's okay. Because everybody misses sometimes. Nobody. Well, there's, there's probably guys that are good enough at it that they don't. I am not one of them. I love it. I love goose hunting. I love duck hunting. Past shooting ducks has always been a tough one for me to master. I can, I can kill them, but I do a lot of blank shooting too, I think. <laughs> you want the truth. <laughs>